Hello and welcome to another Nikomita tutorial. Today we will do something from Andreas uh, Wannerstedt here. And he has some really great ideas here. Made some really nice render. And I was asked to show uh, how to make this one here. This uh, slice thing here. And this loop. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, I tried it before, but uh, just wanna uh, to try how to do this with the string here. And I tried it with dynamics, with the spline dynamics, and, but this is not the best way. And now I uh, I decided to make this with with uh, with an effect, so we have much more control over it and something else. So, so uh, yeah, let's start with this. And I recommend uh, have a look at this Instagram address here. You will find it in the description too. So I start, of course, here with I have it here in, in my player too, so that, that I can have a look sometimes. Uh, I start, of course, with with a normal cylinder here, and then we make this string thing. And then we make this wall here to come out, and yeah, and so on. Okay, let's start with a uh, cylinder. So first I go into my objects, bring this up a little bit, and bring in a cylinder. Okay, two plus sets, this should be okay. And I need a height of 10. This is good for one slice here, so... And I want to have this this side here uh, on the null axis, so, so I go to uh, on the zero axis. Every time I say null, I say. so I go to the x here and say minus five, uh, minus five. No, this was the wrong one. Set. I have to go. It's early. It's uh, half past nine in the morning, so it's not my not really my time. But what else? I get a visit later on, so I have to do something now. So, minus five. Okay. That's nice. And I don't want to use a a subdivision surface, so I take here more segments. Because we have to bend this, we need uh, many segments. Height segments. Uh, height segments, I don't need so many. This should be okay. Uh, three is okay here, and in the caps I need here some, so that we get something like squares here. That this is this is okay. Good. The next step is I need a bent deformer, so that we go down with the bent deformer later on, and that it looks uh, like it will be sli uh, sliced down. So I select my cylinder. And go to the bent deformer, hold the shift key, so the bent deformer uh, becomes child of this cylinder. And of course, this bent deformer will be in the wrong direction. Yes. So R for rotation, and I rotate it 90 degrees. And say again to the bent deformer, fit to parent. Okay. Then I want to keep the y axis length here. And say here 180. This is okay. And let's say the size in the set about 70. Okay. That's E. And now when we go down with this, you see we have a slice here. Whoop! Slices down. Okay. Here I go to 85. So the slice starts here at 85. wrong one here and I want here the camera to left so that's nice okay and when we go down the word the only thing what's not so nice here is when we started you see this this uh, edge goes up here and the original one should be here but we, we uh, do this with the camera angle we, we, we set our camera so that we don't see this so it doesn't matter Okay, then let's make another cylinder without a bend deformer. So just control, drag it down. And I don't need the bend here. 
bring this to uh, so first make this higher so let's say to 100 maybe and hold the control uh, hold the shift key and drag it down so that we put it on this edge here and this should work uh, if you don't, if you have problems with with uh, increments when you hold the shift keys, my increments are uh, by default set to to five units. So so, if you want to change this, I showed it in some other tutorials how to change it. Uh, I think you go to the modeling mode here mode. Uh, modeling mode, and here you have the quantize, and here you can set your uh, your units, your just the steps you want. In the movement, five, and in the uh, in rotation and scaling, I have five, and the default uh, value is ten. So, okay, this is this. And now, when we go down with the bend deformer, we have this. So, so far, so nice. Okay, now let's hide our bend deformer here. Don't need this to see. And now I want to make this with the string thing, the string thing. <laughs> uh, for a for a straight uh, string, or first straight spline, I always take the helix spline. I take a helix. My helix is set uh, by, by default to 50, and normally it's 200, but I never need 200 in the helix, so I decided to make it at 50. But here I need just zero. Everywhere, zero, 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 and I get a straight line, you see. And here, so, okay. And in the x axis to minus 100, so I have it here, and I have here the string. Uh, I do it with the helix spline because of the subdivisions here. You see, we have a height of 200 and a subdivision of 100, so we have every two units and, and a, 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 vertex, a vertex. And uh, yeah, so I have m much more control over the spline, but I don't need as many. Uh, let's say uh, I think 20 should be enough here, so every 10 units. And I convert this helix spline, so because I need to the vertices between, and I want the, uh, the, the axis in the middle here. So I convert it, we see on the keyboard, and now I have here my magic center tool somewhere here. And I center the axis, so I have this exactly in the center of the spine. If you don't have the magic center, uh, you will find the, the link in the description. If you don't have it, you can do it with the axis center tool. I have it here in my toolbar, but you find it also somewhere else in the mesh axis center. You have it here. Good, and if you don't find anything, so just hit Shift C on your keyboard and you get the commander and. Uh, Axis, if you give you an axis center, then you find everything here too. Here, axis center, and just double click it. Okay. Uh, let's hide the cylinder for a moment. This both cylinders. Uh, okay. And let's see how we can uh, bend this spline here in the middle. Go to my helix spline. And what I want to do is uh, not not everyone knows it that you can uh, use the MoGraph effectors for objects too. So you don't have to use just the, the, the deformers here. You can use the MoGraph effectors. And I, what I want here is an effector and I want the plane effector. I have my, my helix selected and with the, and shift click on the plane se uh, effector and I have here the, the plane effector child. So nothing happens now, you see it. And the first thing I want is, I know I want the fall off. So I want this to, to here to, to do nothing, then go here up and here down. So and what I want is an spheric, a spherical fall off. Okay. And now I see still happens nothing. The parameter would be okay, but 100 is here much, maybe too much, let's say 50. And I want that the middle of the spline goes up 50 centimeter in this case. 
So I go to here to the deformer and the deformer is off and you see you can go to object points polygon. And what we need for the for the spline is of course points because we don't have polygons on, on the spline and don't want to have the, on the whole object. I want just to uh, affect the points. So I go to point and you see what we get? We get something like this. Now I go to my fall off and go here a little up, let you see. Get something like this could be this this string here. So uh, let's go to this one, and this this could be this this angle here. Okay, uh, I make my fall off a little bit. Go to the painting form and make the painting form a little smaller. So T on my keyboard and down. So something like that that I have here. Uh, some straight spline for the handles on on this thing. And let's make the handles the, so hide my plane effector here. Okay. Now I make these two handles. This is I uh, take cylinder and plus X. Okay. Smaller of course and here height of twenty maybe. Yeah, uh, twenty is okay. Two. Okay. E for moving this thing here. So I hold my shift key so for the increments and here in 100 centimeter. Make a copy of it and put it here to minus. So, okay. But I don't want as many segments here. So I select both of the cylinders and go to eight here is enough is i want so so eight sides here yes and yeah that's it so i make just one object out of these two handles here so i have selected both of the cylinder and simply hit here uh, connect objects and delete I have it here in my toolbar, as you can see, but uh, if you right click it here and you have connect objects and delete here too. So now we have one object. Uh, what I want to do is I uh, want to optimize my objects here. So I go in point mode, select nothing, uh, no point. Uh, this, the optimization works if you if we want to optimize everything. Uh, so uh, you can select every point or no point. So so uh, I decide no point. I click just somewhere in the viewport so I can be sure no point is selected and hit optimize. I have my optimize somewhere here in the viewport here. Whoops, optimize. Uh, if you don't have it here in the toolbar, so check right click and optimize. Good so far. And I want a little bevel on the sides here. So I go to my cylinder and shift click on the bevel deformer. This is a little doom. My paper deformer by default, you will see the uh, use angle is activated at 40 and has an offset of 1. The offset of 1 is too much. If you hold the alt you see, uh, if you just go to this this uh, small arrows, if you press on it, you, know, you have a step of 1 here. And if you hold your alt key on your keyboard, you have a, a tenth of it. So, down here so this looks quite nice here give it more okay and you see I have uh, activated use angle otherwise if I don't have this you see I get my I get the bevel on each uh, edge so I get just everything what is over 40 degrees gets an bevel okay Next step I want to make of this string. This is just a spline at the moment, and the spline does not render. Yeah, if you put a hair uh, material on a spline, you can render it, but it's then it's. I, I want. Uh, I want here uh, polygons. I want an object here. So I make a circle spline and point one or something else. Put it over my helix here, so I know that this is the profile spline for our sweep, and this is the path. 
So I select my circle, go to the sweep, hold my Alt key, so it gets parent, it becomes parent of the circle, and the helix under the circle. And now we have our sweep map. But you see we have too, much, uh, too many segments, so I go to my circle and say from, go from adaptive to uniform and say here three should be okay maybe two two is okay yeah i put this whole thing then in a subdivision surface the string so we have a nice yeah, let's go to the string put the subdivision surface so and now we have a nice curved ni for isopalm so we see it better so okay and we still have this plane effector, and when, if we play with the plane effector, with the strength, we can animate this strength here. Okay. Let's go up here, so to cylinders, and activate everything. And go up with my... So, 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 so let's bring the, the handles. And the subdivision surface, so this is the string in a null object. So I select both and Alt G and hook Alt G. And this is the string. And now let's save this whole thing for a moment. Uh, string, or string, doesn't matter how I call it, it's just that it's saved. Okay, and now I bring up this string here to out here. Now I know when I go down here, I want that this string goes up a little bit. And uh, to the same at the same time, the, the pen deformer should go down with the string. So here we make an, a simple keyframe animation. Uh, yeah, but first I want to have it. A square thing here, square render. I'm coming up here, and if I go something like this, we don't see then this problem with the band deformer. What I told you, when I go to E, so and we don't see that this is goes up here. You see it here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. See. It goes up here. This is too high, but uh, we don't see it with with the with the correct uh, camera angle. When we go with something like this, we don't see it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And now let's make an animation for the for the for the cut here. Let's say it goes down from nine to hundred, uh, from zero to hundred. Uh, first thing I want to do, I know I want any animation, any keyframe animation, I want it linear. If you make a normal keyframe animation, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, if, if go to my string here, the coordinates, Y, I record my Y, go here to 100, bring the string down here, something like here, make another keyframe. If we play this, you see it starts slow. We have and, and ends slow. The reason is, let me go right click here and animation and show the F curve. We have an ease ease F curve. And what I want is, I want everything in a linear way. So I have, I have a, this everywhere the same speed. And uh, if I know this before, that I everywhere I want a an, an, uh, linear uh, movement, just hit Control D for the, for the project settings. I go to the key interpolation here. Okay, go from spline to linear and over that bit. So and now every every keyframe I set will be linear. So I don't have to go every time to, into the F curve and put it to linear. Okay, good so far. But here I want I want to start from. Let's find a nice camera angle here. Let's see how is the original one. Yeah, this is almost the same. Good. And make a camera so we don't lose this. Right click and protection deck. And save it. 
So we have here the string and this is okay and then and this zero frame but I wanted to go up here to start don't see it here almost don't see it I can see it a little bit this is okay and I don't want to we are not in the middle here so so let's go to the camera and put it a little so up here oh, something like that should be fine okay save so I changed here the string why just hit again on the record button and now I go through okay let's make here the animate in the play mode to cycle I see I want the string here on, on 100 little down so something like that and again hit the key and try it again so this would be nice okay we have here our loop okay now uh, of course i want to see when when uh go to the side when the string touches here the the uh, cylinder <coughs> sorry the band should start to to work here so I go to the band deformer on 31 it's okay go to the y-axis and yeah let's see how far we can go something like here go to the band deformer well, let's go to the side here. And let's say something like that. Okay. Uh, go to here. So on the same uh, height uh, here. And then the last thing we make a little uh, faster because then it falls. So, so make just here this. And then go to the frame I don't know something like this bend deformer is selected and now I bring it down so that it it's out of the of the view of the so we don't see it in the camera anymore so and make another keyframe let's see how this looks yeah looks nice so far whoops Maybe on the bend deformer we can make this a little faster so that it falls down a little. I need this blue one here, so. Okay. Yeah, now it falls down. Okay. And next thing we would want, we want that our uh, string bends a little bit when it comes to here. Okay, let's see how we can do this. Go to our 31 and let's so and go to our plane effector string plane effector here and we wanna uh, play with the strength here so the strength now uh, uh, zero is okay now let's go a little up so at the middle maybe go to 100 but so we, we have to play now with the band deformer later on a bit a little bit so that we can uh, bring this up and down so i can make the okay this is good so far oh, i forgot to i forgot to animate so I uh, have to record the keyframe, of course. This is not nice. But what we can do now is we go to the do, 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 uh, band deformer. Go and let's go to animate here, and I want to show the track. And here in the Y position, I can play with 
this guy here. So I don't want to uh, have everything. I want to just take this one. Okay. Something like that. Let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. Looks better, but not okay. This is a little uh, uh, playing around, but uh, that's okay for me. But it's easier than the work with with the with uh, dynamics. So we. I really need it on 100 here, so... Oh, what I meant... I go back to here... What I want to do is... I make this... I make this string movement a little faster. I think this is the better way. Just go to the string movement. So here, dope sheet. So now I have the position here of the string and. Just go make the string movement faster so it's easier. Okay, I have to put now so the bend of the string should start earlier. I want to see automatic mode. So, and plane effector is selected. Okay. So, it starts too early. You see it. So, I go to this one. So you have a nice control over the movement, you see. This is okay here. Uh, not the plane effect, I need the y-axis here. The y-axis of the string. String y-axis. Okay. That looks great now. And here, when it starts, I want that the string snaps back to, to a straight thing. Okay. Until here, it looks nice. Whoop. And here, I want that the string snaps back to uh, a straight line. So I have to the plane effector, to the strength of the plane effector. And here, I go one step before so I go to frame one frame first so and the strength of the plane effector so I make here now 100 and one frame forward and now zero here Boing. okay this should do what I want it snaps back to a straight but we don't see it here but uh, 
we can almost feel it. If we go, let's go out of the camera here. Hide the camera so that we can see what we did. So here and boing, you see it now it snaps back. Chuck. This is exactly what I want. But it looks a little boring then it just snaps back. What I want, I want to bring this, uh, to, to vibrate this a little bit here when it, when it snaps back. So maybe it could snap one. No, no, that's, that's okay. Okay. The move, this is already right now. So uh, hit save. And uh, yeah, I want that this jig. So we have, we have two ways to do this. We could do this with the, here with the jiggle deformer or with, with an effector, with, with the MoGraph effector, with the delay effector. Uh, I first try it with the jiggle. I, I want to try both. Um, this with the with the with the brr thing <laughs> with, 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 with the vibration. Uh, I did not really test it, but uh, it was an idea I had. And uh, yeah, so let's go back and put on this plane on this helix spline on the spline. I want the that the spline jiggles first. I try it with the delay effect. No, no let's try it with the, with the deformer, maybe. Jiggle deformer, boing. And put the jiggle deformer under the plane deformer. And in the jiggle deformer, there is not much to do. There is the strength, stiffness, everything. And let's go and make it. So we see it works. But we have to do something. First, what we do have to do is we have to make a follow-up. You see, with the whole spline jiggles. I think it, but it will work with the jiggle deform. I think. Don't need the delay effector. So I go to here. Go to the jiggle deformer. Follow-up. Take. Again, an spherical fall off. Uh, make the jiggle deformer uh, in the middle of the helix spline. So, when we go here to reset PSR, you see, because it's under the helix, when I say when I hit the reset PSR, it goes exactly to the to the zero point of the of the object. And if you don't have reset PSR here, you find it in the correct in the character text here. Character commands reset PSR. Okay, and now uh, make this a little smaller. This T for scale for the for, for the for the deformer. Something like here, so that it goes until to the handles here. Let's hide the jiggle deformer so we can see what it does. And go down. Okay, nice so far. But the first thing I have seen is uh, the jiggle deformer starts here on the top too, you see. This is not what I want. So what I do here is I go to and until frame, let's see which, which frame this was. Go to the string here and go down. Oh no, I went to the plane effect. I want to see when the, yeah, here. Here I go to, uh, I want to the uh, jiggle deformer starts on frame on the next frame on frame 71 or 72 here until here i don't want the jiggle deformer to be enabled so i go to here and say uh, disable it and record it and one frame further i enable it and record it so that means the jiggle deformer only uh, if, uh, starts here so when i go back on the top nothing should happen yeah, this is nice. 
And now, boing, you yeah, see, now it works. But something happened too. It's not really an. No, no, the movement is okay, but let's hide this one cylinder for the moment. And let's see if we can make a nicer. Uh, a nicer movement for the cheeky deformer. Strength is game, maybe more stiffness, a uh, less drag. No, I'm less drag. I don't this will give us too much movement. That's not bad. Maybe the fall off. No. Less fall off. No fall off. No fall off is not good. <laughs> Better. Okay, I, this I like. We do not really see it a lot because, uh, but uh, let's go to the stiffness, maybe to 70. This, as I said, this is a little playing, but it makes fun too. At least I think it makes fun. Now it does nothing normally. Almost nothing. Stiffness, okay. That's not bad, uh, but I think I try it with the delay effect or two, so we see both ways. Okay, let's deactivate the chicle deformer. Uh, okay, I'll bring the chicle deformer out here. So now it should do nothing okay and bring in a delay effector so I go to the uh, mock graph effector and take a delay effector bring it under the plane effector here and see what you can do with this the effector the delay effector has three uh, possibilities so even blend and spring and I want the spring uh, just the position and it should work as a deformer in point mode and here we don't have to do more so so yeah maybe we need the fall off then of course but let's see what it does here it does nothing it's Yeah, I, I had it under the plane effect, uh, under the plane effector, so I need it just under the helix, not under the plane effector. I think at least, yeah, uh, this looks better, it looks immediately better. Yeah, I, I prefer this, and we have to do nothing, we have nothing to, to set here. Okay, bye bye, Jiggle Deformer. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Now bring in the cylinder here. Ok. 
Okay. That's our movement. Nice. Go back to the camera. Okay. But now you see the next problem. Uh, this, this, it's, it, uh, Chuck, so, so you see, every, every time that there's this uh, slice comes back here, and this we see, so we can't make an, a loop with this. That's not possible. Uh, it is possible, but it looks not, nothing. What we need is, we have, we know that we have here a height of 10 cm. So it means I have to uh, move this whole object with, with the string, with the handle, with everything, uh, 10 centimeter in the set axis uh, during this uh, 100 keyframes. That's not that's not a problem at all. And so uh, we do this. Let's bring this uh, uh, whole thing in. So to this two cylinder and the string, everything together in a null object. So I take a null object. Boing. And this is this moves move, and I bring everything in this null object. Good. So good. So 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 far so good. Now I go to the coordinates, and say here, on the on the zero keyframe. Make here and check record it. Go to hundred, and. Uh, and to move it 10 centimeter, so uh, minus 10 in set. Okay, and now if we make this whole thing of oh, I forgot to record as it looks like, so I go to 100 here, minus 10 and record it, so now it's okay. Now, of course, now it, 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 it springs here, and, and we have here, but for this, for this, we have this wall here. <laughs> so let's make this wall. But you see in the front, we have a nice, smooth animation. Okay. Let's make the wall so that we don't see this in the, in the background. Don't forget to save sometimes. And yeah, I make a simple plane. Boing, 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 boing. And to the set here, bring it back a little so, something like that. Now I go in the front mode, in the front view here. And I want to see the wireframe, so I hit NH on the keyboard. And these are too many segments, of course. What I want is uh, for this, I need eight points. I want to make a circle here, so let's say six by six. Six, six, okay. That means I have here one point, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with eight points, I can make a nice circle. Okay. We go to the plane, hit C on the keyboard to convert it, go in point mode and just delete this middle point here. So now I select all my points here around. Boing, 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 boing. And here we have a nice script that is uh, points to circle. You will find the link in the description. It makes out of our points a circle. So I hide for the moment this two thing. And Click on points to circle, and you see, uh, I have, I have, uh, I have uh, other defaults in the script too. Uh, normally, you will have a, a bigger circle. My circle is, I think, five centimeter radius or something else. As I modified the script a little bit, but uh, you will have a bigger circle. So, but it doesn't matter. So, just if I have a smaller circle like me, T for scale, and scale it up. So you see, we get a nice round thing here. Okay, something like that, and we put this laid down in a subdivision surface and we get a great round circle. What I want now is uh, UL for loop selection, go to edge mode, ok, 
Okay. I go out of the. Okay. Now I hit T for scale and hold my control key during scaling so I can extrude this a little bit. I make one extrusion, another extrusion. I want a sharp edge here, so a sharp, a round but sharp, <laughs> so, so not too much rounding, so, uh, but we can change this later on too, so, and now I hit the E key for the move, for moving, control key again, drag it a little out, drag it more out, drag it again a little out, this is just uh, like a bevel, I do the bevel now, so with the small edges here. Then again, T for scale, scale it a little to the inside. As, as uh, narrower these, these points are together, or these edges are together, as sharper your edge will be. So, an E, a little bit, and back. So, that's it. And if I put this in the subdivision surface now, whoop, 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 we have a nice round thing here. And I see, okay, I am too small now, this, but this is no problem. And I for, for uh, isopalm, so I see better what I do. Uh, go to my plane, point mode, and uh, hit the zero key on your keyboard for the for the rectangle selection. Be sure, only select visible elements is off. And select all the points here. And now I simply hit T. And I want to do a uh, scale just in this in Y and X direction. So I go to this uh, triangle here and I scale it up. So you see, we can easily make the size I want. So something like that. And now this looks fine. My subdivision surface here, the editor is at three. No, normally it's at two uh, by default, but I make three. I want to have a smoother look here. And now, and now when we go to this, so let's hide our uh, let's hide the, our uh, lines here, N A on keyboard, so uh, we don't see anything. And now let's see if we have a smooth animation. Uh, so I play it. You see, we have. A totally smooth animation. We don't see, of course, this in the background. And this is exactly what we want. What I don't want now is here this this uh, round edge here on the on the. Okay, so let's make this, but made, let's make it another camera angle. Let's delete this. I want that the camera is something like that, so that the that the uh, edge here is uh, something like parallel to, to here. Maybe a little smaller. So, oh no, 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 bigger. So. Something like that. It's only be careful that we don't see this. This is this upcoming. But if if the people don't know it, they don't see it. So it's just. You know, if you see some, if you know something, you will see it, of course. So let's uh, uh, make give away these roundings. Let's the uh, protection. Uh, this is very easy with the roundings. Bring back our uh, lines with NB on the keyboard. Go to my plane. Point mode is okay. Hit nine on your keyboard. To have the live selection here, select this, and now hit the period key. This is the period key is uh, uh, between the uh, comma uh, between the comma key and the uh, uh, <laughs> underscore key, and and and, and that. you know you know so, so uh, yeah you know the yeah the one two the second key right to the M. This is the period key. <laughs> and hit the period key and just drag with the mouse button. Uh, the left mouse button, click and just drag it. And you see, we get this weight track here. This is the subdivision weight track. And now we have 
so everywhere the subdivision except here. You see it when we click on it, you see we have here awaiting. Okay. This is this. And now save it. Okay. And now we could start to texture this whole thing. Uh, yeah, let's texture it. Well, I think texturing is, is no problem at all for you because this is not really hard to texture. But let's make it. So let's make it yellow, red, and green. So this is. We should be able to do this. Let's make a yellow texture. Whoop. We don't need Octane for this because I think this will render quite fast. So something like a yellowish texture. Uh, something like that. With a little reflectance. Roughness. Yeah, my default here, uh, my default to a little different to the normal defaults. If you have seen when I make a, a material, nothing is uh, activated, and, and, and here in the reflectance channel, I have uh, this uh, thing here. But uh, you will get, uh, yeah, but you see what you need. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and you will get uh, the project file. I do it. I hope you are not angry with me, guys. But uh, I decided to, to make the, the project file only available for patrons in, in the future. Uh, because, mm, yeah, so maybe, maybe I get a little more donation or something else. It, I know it is maybe it's a little unfair or something else, but uh, I think it's it's not hard to, if you make this, this normally you don't need the, the project files. So, so. It's only when you when I have some uh, textures or something else. Yeah, the the the, the, patri uh, the, the patrons should have a little advantage. So, so uh, I hope you understand this. I hope you are not angry with me if I do it like this. If if you think it's it's uh, it's totally wrong from me, uh, please tell me in the comments or somewhere where you want. But uh, I hope you 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 understand this. So so. A project file will be in the future only available for patrons. Uh, how I do this, I don't know because I have to see, look on my Patreon page how I can do this. That uh, just patrons get this. But uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is this not yellow. I put these yellow things. Uh, first, I need here on the cylinders. Go. Let's make an, an H here. So I go out of the isopalms. Uh, hide my wall for the moment. I go to this cylinder here. Hide this one for the moment. And I make a, I have to make the, this them editable because I want to make a selection here and work just with the selection. And uh, we could do this differently. I could do this without uh, uh, with without convert them with uh, with the correction deformer, but uh, it doesn't matter when we convert it. We don't need any more thing on this. So what I do is I go to my to, to this one here. Hit C on the keyboard. Uh, normally I do this with, with my edit optimize script, but this would uh, bring the band deformer in. Uh, so I go to the cylinder. Don't forget to optimize. And here, this cylinder I make with my edit optimize script. Uh, when I find it, if I find it, here is my edit optimize script. It's uh, every time a little confusing for me because I have another uh, layout here as why as as the layout with the layout with with them I work every day is different to this layout. So because the, the other layout is done for 4K monitors and uh, this is. Here I record in, in 1080p, so. Okay, this this is done. Go to here. UL, loop selection. Loop this one and this one. Then UF for field selection. UF, and it's just this. This will be the red one here. I do this on the other side too. Uh, UL UL uh, 
and UF. Oh, that's a little stupid what I did here. Yeah, let's make it because now I make it different. And UN for a phone selection. This is easier. Make a phone selection here and a phone selection here. So hold the shift key. And now UL and control key on your keyboard and subtract the selection. This is the easier way, I think. Okay, make set selection. I have it here in my toolbar, and if you don't have it in your toolbar, go to select and <laughs> set selection here. Yeah. Okay, and I do the same for, the, for this cylinder here. But for this cylinder, I need it just uh, UN, UL, I need it just here, and set selection yeah you have to be careful uh, sometimes uh, you forget that your, your selection deck is st still selected so if i would, would now say set selection it would override this selection deck so be careful just hit somewhere in the object manager somewhere that everything is deselected and then go to the to the uh, object or something as you want and then make the set selection so now you get a new selection deck. Otherwise, as I said, this selection deck would be overwritten. So save it. Nice and good so far. Now I can go to NA for this. Uh, yellow. Yellow, yellow to this, yellow to this. Okay, now do the same material. I copy this material. Control, drag it on the side. I don't really have to name these materials because I see this is yellow, the other side this is red, so <laughs> here I don't need it to. So, and this cylinder. What you could do is this, you could, uh, the same, you could uh, make a selection and then drag the material on the selection. It would be automatically make a selection deck with, this, with the material. Uh, but I prefer this uh, this this way, so I put this on my cylinder and drag in the selection deck here. So, and I do the same here. Red, and put on the selection deck. So nice. Uh, and the red thing is here a little crispy, so there's a light. Uh, noise inside oh, let's make a little noise on the red one why not noisy 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 Bok. and it's too big but uh, 20 maybe so 10 i think that's okay mm. When I rendered this, I want to have GI on, and I want for GI we need something to reflect and to light and everything. You know it. Meanwhile, I think so. Uh, I bring in my Nico Media Scene Rig. Hello, Scene Rig. Hello, Nico. So no floor. Okay, and here I want to go to GI. First, I change my resolution, so the, the dimensions, then I go to GI, and now I have my my thing here. Okay, what I see, so let's go to the camera. I don't to see everything, so like it would look at the end. Okay, then we need this green color for here. So this is more dark, dark green. I so copy the yellow material again. Make it something like this darker green here. So put it on my plane. Okay, then we have some 
Oh, I have got almost the same color. <laughs> so yeah, maybe this less saturated and we 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 have almost the same. It's like really less saturated. Oh, something like that. <laughs> okay, and let's make some white spots in the, in the on the green. For the white spots, we go to the color channel. Of uh, let's make here a noise inside. Noise. I copy this color here. Go to my noise. And see. I want to go to here to the tens. Okay. Yeah, I want to make the the texture on cubic, and let's see, uh, fit to object. Where is fit to object? Okay, that's so far good. Looks a little strange because when I go now to my uh, texture tag here and select the plane, enter texture tag, and go to my texture mode here, and then I go to my enable axis, I see I have here 200, 251 in the x axis. So this is why it looks here so, so, so uh, comp compressed. So, so, so. so when I go here to 200, too everything looks like it should and of course make smaller this one and let's see the 10 and what i want i want the black should be the green so i go to here to paste and the white so let's go this low clip up and we get something like this look <laughs> It's almost the same. I I don't want to copy this now to ta totally, but it's just just for fun to make this. Okay, if, if think it's too, but I don't like maybe maybe a little less white. So okay, I can go down with the contrast if you think. But no, this is this was okay. I could make if I don't want it so white, just make, make a take this green and make a, a desaturated green. So, so we can drag this green to this green here. And let's see, so make it like this. So now it's more in the green one. Yeah, it's okay. Good. Uh, let's make a little in the background something with a greenish background a light green background here we have a, a pattern in the background you can do this pattern with with uh, make a, a plane in the background or something else and then you put this pattern on or, or look for a, a background picture and then and, and put the background picture in, in, in here in the back on, on a on a on a do -do 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 background object or if you have the decometer scenery, you can simply can drag here in the background and floor. You can drag in a background picture if you want, or something else. I do just color now, so so I colorize this with let's see here. Yeah, from this color to to this color to the green color. So go to here. Take this one and take here light green spots. So okay. And for the other one, I pick the dark green, so okay, and get something like this, or maybe too dark here, or it goes to my other monitor. Come on, color because every time it jumps to the other monitor. Oh, 
oopsie okay yeah, now now it's okay for me and yeah i would say it's done if you render this now so let's bring in back the we see it here too let's render this with a middle gi so first i go to the middle gi and say 720 here because the render settings are just activated when you hit this white square here so uh, as, as long as you just uh, uh, select it like this and the white square is here it uses the low one just when i put here now it's it's uh, activated and let's see this one render it out here and you see it, it renders really fast so, so. it's a little noisy here and if you don't like this just go up with the with the uh ah we have forgot something we forgot to texture this string here uh yeah if, if you just go up with the with the uh render settings if you don't like the noise but the noise here is uh, maybe in the animation then it, it will be uh, you have to go up here a little bit so that you don't have flickering or something else or if you want to avoid flickering at all so just uh, render without gi but, but then you have to work a little bit with with the uh, noise and everything so uh yeah the, the string we want to we want to like this go out of the camera and the string is easy what how can we make this with the string i think we make we have to make this handles uh editable so so uh make this bevel editable because when we well, let's try it i think we get problems when we uh oh, come on when we texture this so go to shift f8 maybe i have some nice whatever texture here my textures which is some wood texture yeah this one maybe so put it uh, oh it works with 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 the beverage farmer so it's okay uh b -b 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 -b. i want to go up it's okay i don't need here anything else this, it's okay we don't see it really so good nice i'm happy with it and for the string uh, let's make a white material or a black material let's see how it's in the original one ah i closed it so, but i should still have it here and uh, something like something like white okay make a new material a little yellowish right so something like that okay reflectance i don't need reflectance on it whoop and put it on our string here on the sweep Okay, now go to my camera, go something like to here, oh, 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 so we need this one, and let's see how this looks, oh, I have the middle thing now, I think this looks nice but what's that is this just a shadow or is this something else well, let's go further must be the shadow yeah it was just a shadow it is the shadow Let's see uh, how long it takes if we make a high render with this. High 720. And render this frame. 
I think everything but is under one minute should be okay so, so for, for an animation. But you see now we ha don't have this this noise anymore. But it renders a little too long for me. So let's go to the render settings. And here in the high GI, this is really high. So I go to the physical and the blurriness subdivision, I can go down. I don't need it. The shading error threshold 10. You see, we have here one minute now. I, I want to go under one minute. So I will stop this render and render again with the new setting. Of course, if we, if we do this in, in Octane, it would render in, in three seconds, I think. And I don't think that we need an, an Octane uh, tutorial for this, because these materials in Octane, they are almost the same way to do like like I did it here. So. You see, we don't have any any difference here and we have a faster render this one here so we said but it's still not what I want so let's go here so to three here to four and here maybe to 15 and try it again so stop this render I rendered today with without any uh, uh, team render things, so without any, any team render, so we can see how we do what we do. This looks now okay for me. I just wanna stay under one minute, and one minute for a frame is one animation totally okay. Okay, we are rendered and we have 41 seconds, that's perfect. Okay, this is our animation. Well, maybe you go, uh, let's go up a little. Maybe, there we, there we cannot put this in a subdivision surface. Uh, we can put it in a subdivision surface. Because you see, we have here this, this, uh, these edges are not really smooth, they're not really round. Put it in the subdivision surface, but the first, uh, the only thing, the only problem we ha would have, is that we get round uh, edges here, and it, so we don't. So if we have round edges, we would see it here, uh, but we can do this with the weight tag too, I think. So let's try it. Let's go to here. Let's go back to the one, and. Uh, things, so. Let's hide this one for the moment and put this one in a subdivision surface. I hit Alt on my keyboard, put it in the subdivision surface. You see the rounding here. And of course, if we do this with this one too, so subdivision surface, whoop, and bring it back, we see, of course, this. This is what we don't want to see. But what we can try is now go in the edge mode, UL, take this edge and this edge, again hit the period key and drag. So you see, now we have, we should have sharp edges here, but every, day, every other thing is. Uh, smoothed out. So the same we do now on the other one. Here here it doesn't matter, but here we need this edge here. 
UL, this edge, period key, hold it and drag it. It should work, but it does not work. Did I wrong? So, so. UL, period key. Hmm. Uh, let's delete this one and do it again. Here it does not work. Why? Why does it not work here? On the other side, it worked. Let's see again. So here it worked perfect, and here. It don't wanna work. I will do it. Let's go to point mode. UL maybe. There's something wrong. And period key. Hmm. It we get we get a thing, but but. Does not really work. Come on, don't, don't. We are almost ready and now this. Ah, <laughs> I have the wrong edge. This could, so take this edge. T for scale. Ah, T for scale, period key, sorry. Period key and now drag it and now we are done. Yeah, yeah, it's early in the morning. <laughs> Good. And now we should have saved this. Go back to the camera. Let's go to an, something like here. So, ah, okay. I have a problem. Let's see if we see this in the render too. No, in the render we don't see it. Now we have a nicer thing here and here is everything smooth. Here is everything smooth. That's exactly what we want. Now we see it here. But it does not really matter for me. Of course, we could do this much nicer. I could do this with a uh, with a, if if you have seen in my other uh, uh, tutorials. So normally, I don't want triangles, so so we could I could uh, make this with with quads too or something. But but I think this is okay. So you get an idea what it's uh, what's going on here. Yeah, it looks good. Looks quite nice, I think. Yeah. Let's and the render time with forty six seconds is okay. And yeah, but I do not really like this. No, 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 no. This is not really nice. This is not really nice. No. Let's see if we can avoid this. Yeah, maybe we don't need as many subdivisions, and we are we are very high subdivided already. So uh, normally in the render, maybe it's, it's it's enough when we do just one subdivision here. And yeah, but it change, doesn't change anything here. What makes a little? Oh, it makes of course it makes a change. It makes a big difference. Okay, just one subdivision here, and then it's okay. And because we have uh, already, as I said, a high subdivision, we should have here smooth, yeah, uh, smooth here too. Don't need as many subdivisions. Okay, this is nice so far. 
yeah now I, I could could take an other uh, let's make another another HDRI to to light this and something else so, so, so you know you will see this in the old render in the new render we don't see it okay yeah this is our animation and now you can easily loop this we have a nice loop animation here so no we don't need it anymore oops okay. so if it goes through here whoops whoops we have a nice springing uh Yeah, but only what I see here is we are not uh, fine, but uh, we, we see the string here, so but we can change this in the camera. We, we make just another, we can try to make another camera uh, focal length, maybe it's about 50. Bring it in, so something like that. Uh, let's see how this looks. It starts a little. Ah, the the, the bent farmer should work a little earlier, huh? but not really. It it comes in first. It slices and then uh, with down no that's, that's okay for me if you don't like it like this just uh, go to the key to, to, to the timeline shift f3 i think shift f3 yeah and go to the thing you want and if you say okay i want uh, with the paint deformer position uh, you can bring it earlier or, with the or later you see you just can easily change this Okay, maybe this is a little better. So, but now you have to be careful. You see, we are not we are here, so that means we should go to the string, and the string position a little down. So now we are here on the right right one. It's quite easy if you have to the the. the uh, uh, the, the timeline open you can easily make this so now it's better whoops okay and now we don't see our string at the beginning we don't see our string at the ending because we have another focal length and we are done i hope you like this tutorial if it was fun for me so i liked it really Oh, ooh, uh, one and a half hours almost. That was... Uh, what else? Yeah, it, this, the reason is you need longer with this. Uh, of course, you have a little to play with the keyframes and everything. But uh, at the end, you, you are happy when you, uh, you find your right way and you find everything. That's it for today. Yeah, I hope to make... Uh, I think I can make another tutorial on the weekend. Uh, this tutorial was, uh, I don't know why I did this tutorial now, I did, I, it was not planned, but uh, uh, I was bored a little bit and I had a little time, so um, I get to visit now and then so I said, before I do nothing, let's make a tutorial. Okay, my friends, uh, I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and uh, as I said, maybe we see us again on the weekend, I hope so, if I do a tutorial. And yeah, if you have any questions or uh, any requests or recommendations or whatever, please write me in the comments. Uh, please post your result on my on my Facebook group. Uh, I have an, you see, will find everything in the description. And please tell me what you think about it. I give the, the, the project file only for Patreons free. Uh, if you think this is a no go, please tell me. Okay, that, uh, but uh, uh, or if you think if you think yeah, I understand this. I would read this. Uh, yeah, I would appreciate to read this too. 
and yeah so that's it for now have a wonderful day and if you have questions or if you want to donate please write in the in the, uh, the description i have there a link for donation a link for the patreon page and everything and yeah you can't do it with the patreon page it's just a little hint the patreon page uh, waits some some tutorials and then once go to the patreon page say here yeah, okay here you have uh, i don't know five euro or something else and or more and and if you have downloaded everything so you can say no next next month i i i, I describe now and and, and uh, i unsubscribe now and and when i need that project file again so i do not describe again uh, you know what i mean subscribe not describe <laughs> subscribe again and then 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 so you don't have to pay every month of course <laughs> but i would i uh, would really appreciate it so my friends i yeah that's it i want i want i hope to see you again in the next tutorial bye bye tschüss und baba